that. Who wants to be our forge? Not Who, me. I will be the All forge. All right. The forge is a game type where players have the ability to spawn weapons and vehicles at different points of the map. Do you want a rocket launcher? Yes. Hey, right behind you. Okay. Right behind you. I got you. it. I got it. We're it's right there. I just dropped it. Uh, they switch from first person mode to forge mode, I guess. And uh, you cruise around, you spawn weapons and vehicles across the map to help your team out. I can spawn vehicles. Yeah. And equipment, scenery, teleporters, and spawners. Do you guys want a scorpion? So Forge to me is someone who can manipulate the map, almost like a general. Do you want a wraith? <laughs> oh, how about a fucking okay. wraith? My job is there you go, buddy. There's your wraith. I can't get in it. Sorry. And how about I jump in with you? You can kind of go in and create levels, um, put down whatever weapons you want, put down you know tanks and stuff where you want it. I, I really don't think it's it's that thorough of, of an innovation, though. Even if it was just one player who, who was able to put down, you know, only one player from each side was able to put down a, a tank or a weapon, I still think that it's, it's kind of like a, a half-assed innovation in the game, but it, it, may, it may help because then you're going to kind of rally around that one guy. It would almost be like, uh, you know, having a medic or a healer, and everybody kind of protects that person and goes out and tries to get kills, and the medic can provide what, what the team members need. Yes! All right, so I'm going to put another rocket launcher down. There's two rocket launchers oh. now down in that area in the back, if anybody in, wants In it. where? They're right in the back, behind in. the doors. Okay. Without a doubt, Forge is better played with one player as Forge only. Yeah! Like, All right, Rance, I'm going to give you something. Oh my god, that's okay. Does anybody want a firebomb grenade? <laughs> the best and only use for the Forge game type is with one general. It is kind of gay, but uh, it's kind of fun too. I don't think it's fun. Yeah. No, is it just too it's random? random? Yeah, it yeah, might be. There's no method to the madness. There isn't it's any method madness. to the It's like a free for all, right? It's dead. Uh, yes. We played, uh, played about an hour of Forge free for all, so anyone could be uh, enter into Forge mode. So someone else, my cousin. someone else be the forge. So hit up if you want to be the forge, and then no. uh, start placing things. Uh, there, there seemed to be no limit uh, on what you could do. So I mean, basically during that hour, it just uh, degraded into a cesspool of filth and exploiting. <laughs> he deleted in that. Yeah. He did. He deleted me. He deleted you. Yeah, he like deleted right. the vehicle that I was in. Yeah, he did that to me too. This is some sort of weird, bizarre dev. Yeah, but it's actually like very cool. When it's everyone can be a forge, it's a complete circus, completely unplayable. It's fun for about the first five to ten minutes. After that, it gets completely annoying. Did he drop a, a, a vehicle on us? I don't understand what happened there. I don't understand that that keeps like ramming. The beauty of Forge is that it's there if you want it. Forge, uh, to me, is, is more like some, some sad dev mode. There's going to be a section of the populace that's going to absolutely love it, and they're going to love Halo 3 because of it. They didn't have enough content for the game, and the devs were like, well, let's just put in the, uh, you know, the, the random fun map that we made up. Yes, slice! I gotta be honest, like Forge for the first five minutes was awesome because it was something new, it was something we hadn't seen before. But I think I have to agree with the other guys is that it sort of lost its novelty very quickly.